Hi there, let's create these trails effect in Blender. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to create these captivating trail marks in Blender, transforming simple surfaces into rich, immersive landscapes. Whether for a game or a cinematic scene, these techniques will bring your environments to life. Let's dive in. Let's back to tutorial. I imported this tire model I created a few days ago, but I think it is high poly as you can see it has many vertex so I will decimate it a little bit to make it low poly. I'll try to keep things as simple as possible so I do not include any shading in this tutorial just to keep it short and clear to you guys. I'll use tire to explain the concepts but don't worry. The issue that matters here is to understand the process only then, after that you will be able to apply this concept to any of your model including characters. Now we are good to go, if you ask yourself why I reduced the number of vertex to make the rire low poly, I can say this technique relies much on the displacement of the vertex to create the trails effect. So you might experience laggy viewport if your computer is not powerful enough to handle high poly models with many vertex. Okay now I'm just creating a simple scene I mean the ground on which the tire will be moving. Also for the rotation of the tire I'm going to house a driver to control the rotation of the tire. Using drivers is very powerful indeed when you want to create the complex and much more interesting animations. Let me explain to you a little bit if you are not familiar with drivers in Blender. Imagine having the power to control one element in your Blender scene simply by manipulating another. This is the magic of drivers. Picture this. You want a door to swing open as a character approaches, or a light to brighten as an object moves closer. With drivers, you can effortlessly create these dynamic interactions, transforming your animations into captivating experiences. They allow you to automate complex relationships and bring your ideas to life, making your projects not just visually stunning, but also intuitively responsive. Dive deeper, and you'll discover how drivers can unlock endless creative possibilities in your workflow. How cool is that guys? I have the tutorial if you wanna understand the word of drivers in Blender and have full control of your animations. Link in description you can watch it too it's amazing. To make tire move in constant speed you can click Ctrl plus T on Yao timeline and set interpolation to linear. Also keep in mind that if you chan and scale of your objects in your scene you must apply their scale. You can simply click Ctrl plus a key, anyway look for shortcuts here. We are going to use Weight Paint Modifier to create these effects. So tweaking the Valueso of Canvas and Brush is crucial here. For the ground, set type to Canvas. For the tire, set type to Brush. Let's split the screen and add a simple camera track so we can have a better workflow. Now I feel comfortable with this setup at least. So the boring part is over let's start something interesting now. You can see after adding weight paint modifier to tire and ground correctly still nothing is happening here. This is because this plane is not subdivided yet to get enough vertex that will be displaced by the tire when it moves. But you have to keep in mind that if you have high number of vertex on your ground, the ground will catch much more details from a model that will have to leave trails. But the scene might be laggy, if your computer is not capable enough. Okay now after you reach at this point then you are done with all the basics of creating these trails effect. So what you have to pay attention the most now is at these values here. This is where you can customize the trails type and how you want your trails to feel. So look careful here because this is everything. This dissolve option here is what controls the time for the rail to get dissolved and disappear. as you can see it has time values here to control at what time the trails to disappear. Now just watch the way I'm adjusting the values. See these guys.
you can copy my settings when you like something. I make that ass go. It's always a good idea to bake the animation to get much smoother playback. Make that ass go. You know I feel bored with this plain surface, so let's add some roughness to the ground using displacement modifier with cloud texture. Look at this, it's awesome guys. Remember to copy my settings if you like the effect. I just split the screen to have more control of my effects, don't panic in case you are beginner at Blender. I insist guys, remember to copy my settings if you like the effect because these settings are tricky sometimes. Okay now let's try something different. I hope this video is very useful for you, so do me a favor by like, comment what you think about this tutorial. I mean you can ask a question to and I'll be more than happy to answer it you can give me some suggestions to to improve these tutorials or too. Also consider subscribing to this channel for more interesting tutorials in Blender as I always aim at the most interesting things in Blender. This will motivate me more to give these cool stuff deals. Thanks for watching. Eat, render, repeat. Creativity knows no bounds.